Hey Gemini, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Gemini. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so this is for July 2022. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Very general messages, you guys. So please keep in mind that it may not entirely resonate for you. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Um, Gemini, so you got communication is key, caught my eye. It was at the bottom um, of the deck. And this is actually new moon in Gemini. So um, you could be receiving some sort of communication from someone um, that's it feels like it's the spark of something new for you, especially with this new moon and Gemini energy, um, seeing beyond and grand symphony. Okay. Um, so the first song that I got for you guys is summertime magic by childish Gambino. And the second one was all of the lights, um, by Rihanna, um, and Kanye West. So emphasis on, of course, the summertime, some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, but it feels like for some of you guys who are looking, okay, or if you're single, it feels like a new fling, okay, it could be arising, like you're meeting someone new um, that you really kind of kick it off with, or you could just be spending a lot of time with your friends and your family, um, really having fun, really feeling free, carefree, not tied down, um, or not dwelling on anything or anyone that may have been taking up your mental and emotional space um, up until recently, Gemini, so... Um, yeah, a lot of you guys, this is like blissful energy between you and someone else, whether this is a current person or a new person coming into your life. Um, but for some of you guys, it is this newfound happiness, whether it's just you loving yourself or tied to someone or something else. But there's also kind of the energy of someone trying to, someone not being okay with it or someone trying to portray you or, or shine a light on you as like you're the bad guy or they're playing the victim or, you know, they just don't want you to be happy without them. Um, or there somebody's like opposed to like a new relationship or something that you're doing here. Okay. Um, uncharted sea and divine matrix. So yeah, let's just see what comes out for you guys. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, Gemini, the more it puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Okay. Um, I just saw the revealed card at the bottom of the deck. So something could come to the forefront. Something could come to the light. It's just heavy emphasis on light or clarity um, or illumination. Okay. Some of you guys are just really glowing. Like you're looking good, feeling good, um, having fun. And someone might, you know, be trying to rain on your parade, so to speak. So time machine here is the energy for you guys this month. Um, and ears wide open. Something or somebody could be coming back around. Somebody could see you doing good, looking good, and want to revisit. Um, but I feel like you're just really taking advantage of the time that you have here and utilizing your time to just have more fun this month. Okay, ears wide open and a tall tail. It's something you guys, you know, could have a lot of attention, recognition, be doing something well, business is doing well. Um, just kind of a lot of attention in your personal relationships, work, home, whatever it is. But with ears wide open and a tall tail and into me, I see somebody could be trying to make you feel less than or take that shine away from you or spreading some sort of rumors or saying something um like lying about how you got what you have the lifestyle that you live something here to put a damper on your energy um but i feel like you know who you are gemini okay or you know a situation for what it is so i don't see you guys letting that get in the way quieting the mind okay um you could be going on vacation or getting away you know for some time in the month of july as well Believe in the impossible and a time for healing. So I feel like you're pouring a lot into yourself this month or that is the advice. Yeah, it's time to take action. It's time for you to stop procrastinating on something you've been wanting to do for some time. And it feels like it's in regards to yourself, your happiness and your health. Look at the bigger picture fell out here. What do you need to release and step outside of your comfort zone? For a lot of you guys, it's something to do with like your image, the way you wear your hair, the clothes that you wear, um, how you present yourself. It's like a brand new you or just fearlessly being yourself um, regardless, not caring what anybody might say or think about you. 
what do you need to release popped out again and it also says don't let your past hold you back so i'm not even gonna pull for y'all something or someone tied to your past okay past behaviors thinking patterns it's like you're breaking free from some sort of psychological lock block um, or something that was tainting you, something where you couldn't shine as bright, okay? Maybe someone couldn't handle your light or projected certain energies onto you, wanted you to be insecure, or maybe the situation made you feel that way, but you're breaking out of that, okay? Um, you're stepping into a new levels of something here for the month of um, July. So good energy for you. Kudos to you, Gemini, regardless of who's against it, okay? It could definitely be a Leo. Look at this sun card at the bottom of the deck. Summertime magic. I feel like y'all are glowing. Y'all are shining or something you're doing is very vibrant. It's bringing a lot of attention. Um, Leo here, also seven of wands. You're not allowing nobody get in the way of that. Magician, Virgo, Gemini, okay? Somebody here that's very unstable or indecisive about you. It's like, it's, it feels like you're taking something into your own hands or you're blocking and, and protecting your energy from whoever this, it could be, I want to say manipulator. This manipulator is like someone trying to manipulate you into settling for something you don't deserve or somebody could be trying to like hide you or keep you in the house or keep you enclosed here. It's just not, it's, it's not matching your energy. Um, and I feel like you're letting that grow so that you can be seen, you can grow, you can be abundant. Okay, people need to see you. Get out the house, Gemini. Four of swords. Somebody's trying to hold you back. Four of pentacles, devil. It's a very controlling energy. Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. Could be any sign. Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. Somebody may want to reconcile with you because they see you at peace. They see you doing good, looking good. And that's when this person going to try to come back around to trap you back into their little cycle because they don't want nobody else to see you or have you. So um, don't let that be you, Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Page of Pentacles could definitely be a Virgo Taurus. Capricorn could be somebody that's older. I'm sorry, younger than you. All right. Messages from my Geminis for July 2022. Holy Spirit, what's most important for the Gemini collective to know at this time? All right. So let's see. Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody definitely like got it bad for you or feel like they messed up with you or if this is you and this lack mentality energy like this is you breaking out of it or needing to do so yeah breaking out of it the ace of swords clarity truth a breakthrough five of pentacles some of y'all are breaking away from someone who is very low vibrational or like an environment that's very low vibrational a job or somebody that's like a debbie downer like you it's something about it's tainting your energy your light like this person is never happy like you're making the decision to cut off someone that's like that or cut that out in regards to you and the way you think and feel about yourself or a situation seven of cups with the page of cups here yeah it's like somebody really doesn't have anything to give or they're not emotionally unavailable or they don't know what they want or they just create a lot of confusion illusion it's like access denied you're you're cutting off access or you're not um something like something was already on the edge it was already on like life support here and it's like you're holding back from whoever this is because something was draining your energy could be a cancer pisces scorpio or it was just draining you emotionally because we got the four seven and the page of cups here um and the seven in the page is the eight of cups yeah walking away four back to the three of cups somebody could be wanting to reconcile with you but you had in a, in a new direction like it's newness here or it's, it's too late like you already have this new inspiration this new person this new flame this new something aries energy with the five of wands okay definitely could be uh communicating with an aries but somebody's trying to somebody wants to know the truth or somebody's trying to come back around or somebody wants clarity or someone um not taking no for an answer and it feels like it's pettiness or they're trying to cause trouble and whatever this this new happiness is this opportunity this breakthrough is for you five of swords i'm sorry five of uh pentacles we got the two of pentacles with the queen of pentacles like yeah this is somebody you left out in the cold you put out you know if y'all live together somebody is very codependent they have abandonment issues this could be a child for some of you guys um somebody's just not getting the point and it's like you don't want to hear it anymore a lot of y'all can have earth in your chart. It's triple cups over here and triple pentacles on this side, okay? Um, so any of those signs may resonate for you, but somebody wants to come back, but it's like you're not even impressed. You're not even attracted. You're not the, the energy is not the same. You're not the same person. Your standards are different. Like, mm-mm. What's the seven of cups? 
Four of Swords, Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's only because like they're jealous or they're envious of you. Okay, this can be anybody in your life. It could be a friend, a family member. What's the page of cups? Something about like not telling all your business or your secrets. Somebody can't control you anymore or get you to fall back into this, this cycle with the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Something's not working on you anymore. Okay, Two of Swords, Four of Wands. But somebody's trying to cloud your intuition or get you to go back on a decision that you made or convince you otherwise of something that you already know to be over. It's not your responsibility. It's too heavy of a burden. You know your worth, okay? Um, Ten of Wands, the Empress in, uh, could be Libra or Taurus. Somebody's trying to work. Some, mm, somebody is like, don't have nothing to give. Amen, Seven of Swords. Keep your distance from this person. Um... Don't let this person, somebody just wants to know what you're doing. They just kind of want to be in your business so they can like mess up what you have going on here. Okay. Libra Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius at the bottom. Choose your peace. Temperance, I feel like you're good where you're at. Ace of Wands, um, Six of Cups. It's like you're no longer giving somebody your, your attention and because of that, they want it so badly. Nine of Wands, they're willing to do or say anything to get you back. Tower card, um, higher friend, hermit, really trying to keep up with what you're doing. Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, who's loving on you, who's in your life. What you, somebody just, somebody's doing the most. All right, so let's see. And I feel like you are really fed up with this energy. Like it's just, feels it toxic, okay? Low vibrational. The Hermit card, Virgo card, uh, Virgo energy again, Seven of Cups. You see this situation for what it is. Page of Swords with the Devils. The Page of Swords with the Devil and the Seven of Swords. Page of Swords is either a lie, somebody who's holding back information from you. Community. It's like somebody could be like holding back to get you to do more or to make you anxious or worried or to control you. Like it's manipulation, like a control tactic, like a narcissist, okay? Devil card, Capricorn with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. And somebody got a lot of pride, ego. This person may be non-committal. They got somebody anyway, or they didn't choose you. It's like you really are seeing somebody's true colors or for who they truly are. Um, and you may have had high hopes for this person or had on some sort of rose-colored glasses. Um, but somebody, something is just too much baggage or somebody has too much baggage. You're worth so much more. And they know this, but they don't want you to leave them behind. They want you to help them or sit in the misery with them, Gemini. Okay, so let's see, Spirit. Maybe it's a mother for some of you guys or something about someone's mom could be significant or you have children with this person or something like that. All right, let's see. What other more important messages for my Geminis for this month? Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're victorious or something you are doing is very successful for you. Ten of Pentacles, Legacy, Six of Swords. It feels like you're on the verge to stardom or you are very loved and cherished by other people. Um, or the month of July, you're getting a lot of recognition here. Somebody does not like that. It's like somebody wants a part of that. They want, you know, they want to mooch off of that, leech off of that. Um... They don't want you to be as big as you are. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Three of Swords. Some of y'all is a family member. High Priestess, Pisces Energy. What's this Three of Swords? Ten of Swords. Damn. Five of Cups. There could be a family breaking up or something in regards to a home. What's the High Priestess? Something about a third party situation. Sun card. It's like something about a Pisces here and a Leo. Something with family ties. What's the sun card? The damn moon. Wow. Light is being shown on something or somebody's seeing that you're happy and they're trying to manipulate something or somebody does not want you to be happy. They don't want to let you live. For some of y'all, this is like a mother or a parent or a feminine energy or somebody you never would have expected it from tied to your, like your family or something in the workplace. Cancer energy here. Seven of Wands. It's like somebody's having a fit too. Like somebody's throwing a tantrum. This could be a grown person throwing a tantrum. This could be your kids. What's the Ten of Swords? The Seven of Swords. The Three of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. 
betrayal, heartbreak, lies, clarifying each other back to back to back. Like somebody is trying to like deceitfully or maliciously, like underhandedly manipulate you into something or keep you somewhere. This could be family for some. What's the Seven of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's trying to sabotage your legacy, your home, your business. Because they're selfish. What's this moon card? Queen of Wands. With the Five of Wands. This is manipulative energy. It feels like a feminine energy. It could be masculine. Um, but somebody is like trying to keep you in the dark or trying to like they get a some this person is like sick in the head. Um it's like they get a kick out of this. What's the six of swords? The Hierophant, the Two of Wands, Taurus Energy. What's the Hierophant, King of Pentacles, more Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody feels entitled to you. What's this King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, Lover's Card? There you go, Gemini. It's like, it's like a bitter, some of y'all, it's a bitter ex-person, Family member, what's the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups? Somebody feels like something you have is owed to them. They deserve it or they're entitled to you or something. Nine of Cups, it's like you can't be... Somebody's just sick in the head. What's the Two of Wands? King of Cups, Ace of Wands. Pisces at the bottom. Well, this Pisces trying to hold y'all back. From learning something new, collaborating, working with someone else. Very selfish. They Or they want something for themselves. Your stardom. Something like that. Scorpio too. What's this hangman? You need to rethink your relationship with a Pisces. For some of you guys. Judgment. Four cups. Somebody doesn't want you to have something here. World card, emperor. Somebody's over controlling, magician, queen of pentacles. Somebody's trying to manipulate you into like giving to them, giving them money, resources, helping them out. Um, but I feel like you need to hold back from this. You need to continue to hold back from this if this is somebody resurfacing. What's the judgment card? Like somebody is like going through it. The chariot, cancer energy. What's this? King of Wands. Somebody's trying to manipulate you. Queen of Pentacles. You're better off on your own without whoever this is. Um, whatever, whoever this is, you're better off independent. Keep your money to yourself. Don't get nobody no money. Mm -mm. There's some ties to family. I'm going to leave it here, Gemini. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys soon.